welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a week of my life vlog. It's Monday, starting the week off fresh, bright and early. I just got ready for class. I have class at 9.30. I'm just about ready to go. So just gonna take you guys along with me on my week. Yeah, hopefully I have a nice little routine, lots of productivity, and overall a good week. Let's get this week started. <music> mattress i tried bringing it to my room but i was struggling too much so i just left it there i have to deal with that when i get back but we're gonna go straight to the supermarket because yesterday was sunday reset and we didn't get to we didn't get to do our food shopping for the week so we have to go now the gym was pretty good today i got a coffee and it was so good now it's time to cook these ingredients aren't gonna cook themselves meal by ourselves i didn't even cook the rice but just watching watching the process of cooking rice and beans stressed me out <laughs> i was just cooking the chicken i know how to make chicken but for some reason this chicken was just so different this has been the longest process of cooking ever and i'm not even done yet i still have to do the vegetables I just found a new appreciation for literally anyone and everyone who has ever cooked for me. Cooking is stressful. I don't know how this can be enjoyable. I don't know, like, obviously, once you practice more, you get better and it, it like, things don't take so long. But this just took forever. This lunch just turned into a dinner. <laughs> like, it's dinner time. It's five. And this was supposed to be lunch after our class that ended at 10.45. Seven hours later this is our meal excuse the presentation but let's see good morning happy tuesday i tried waking up early today i guess god just had other plans for me because i slept in until 12. i've been having the struggle of not being able to wake up early in this room i don't know if it's the bed or or the room, the apartment, I don't know. I guess I'll try again next week. I have class today at four, so that's why I wanted to wake up early, you know, have a, a nice slow morning, be productive, but no. Mm -mm. I slept 12 hours. I did it all right. I mean, what can I do about it now? I'm just gonna continue my day as I would have. I'm just gonna like make something to eat for myself and then by the time I finish and clean up, it's gonna be time for class. <laughs> at least I tried.
could make this meal every day for the rest of my life and I wouldn't even be mad about it. I got this mug from TJ Maxx. <laughs> it says 100% that witch. I guess it's fitting. this little light pack. I don't know if other people do this, but when I put dry shampoo in my hair, I like to let it sit. Sometimes I sleep with it overnight so that it can absorb the oils in my hair. I like to think that it helps to make the dry shampoo like more effective. I don't know, but while I'm getting ready, I'll just let it sit and then after I'm done, I, I like massage it in. This class right now is literally 50 minutes. 50. I don't want to say it's pointless because I like, I enjoy it, but it's kind of irrelevant, I'm not gonna lie. But then again, I feel like most of my classes are irrelevant. Why am I taking American History as a senior? Why am I taking American History in college at all? As if I didn't spend all of my primary education learning about American History. Let me know. I'm super excited because on Thursday, I'm gonna try Pilates for the first time. I have been dying, not dying to try Pilates, but like, I've been wanting to try it out for a while, but I just never got myself to sign up for a class. So on Thursday, we have like a 30 minute free trial class, which 30 minutes is not enough. But at least I'll get to try it finally and see if I like it or not, if I can continue like signing up for classes, because that will be super good. Okay, I just did my makeup out of order, but whatever. I have like 10 minutes to finish getting ready, so. Every week I go to this class with the most busted nails ever and last week i was like in a group discussion and this girl she like glanced down at my nails and i, like, I actually wanted to die i was like please this isn't me tuesday is just like the day that my nails just fall apart they're just so crusty Last now, I changed into some workout clothes and I'm having a little snack. We're gonna go on a run at seven. We're gonna like make our dinner before so that when we come back, we can eat. Tonight we're having burgers and I've never made burgers before. So let's see how they come out. my last day of class for the week thank god i woke up late today but i'm ready 9 a.m getting ready to leave for class now this morning i spilled a bottle of water on myself well it was just on like my lower half but it's okay i washed and dried my hair last night oh my god <laughs> It just feels so good to have fresh hair. Wait, Loki, these face framing pieces are giving, what's his name? Severus Snape. <laughs> but like in a hot way, you know? <laughs> now let's see how much of a struggle it is to stay awake in this class because I barely slept last night. I was in a deep slumber when my alarm went off this morning. Like, I don't know how I woke up from that. But yeah, let's see where this day takes us. Last day of class for the week.
big back meal after our workout. After our hard work, sweat and tears. But I don't regret it. <laughs> I don't regret it for a second. And I'll do it again. Look how beautiful and sunny it is today. I'm back from school now. Okay, I just impulsively ordered my very first item from TikTok shop. It was $5. I ordered a matching workout set because it just looked so good on the girl that showed up on my For You page. And I was like, I need this. So hopefully it looks as good on me as it does on her. I'm so excited. I've never ordered from TikTok shop before because I don't know. It was just so random to me. I didn't even have TikTok shop in DR, but now that I'm back in the US, I have it and let's see how it turns out. I'll probably make a TikTok about it. I'm so excited about that. And it was just so like, I saw it and I was like, I need it now. I just ordered it right away. It was so impulsive. I think I'm gonna shower and take a nap. I never talked about like my run yesterday. I had a really good run and I was just so inspired. I love running. If you guys don't run, it's so good to get into. The majority of people I feel like hate running. You either, like, you either are a runner or you hate running. But it's just so good. It's so like motivating and it makes you feel so good. Like what they say about runner's high, it's true. And I just felt so like elevated. That's the only word I can use. To describe myself something that i've noticed in my workouts and running and anything like physical activity related that i do is that the only limit that you have is the one that you set on yourself what do i mean by this basically it let's say i'm on the stairmaster and i'm like oh my god like I, I can't do it like i'm dying i'm sweating it's too hard i'm trying to push through but i'm like no like i'm just gonna stop but then i go like two or three more minutes where was i going with that <laughs> After I complete the workout, I'm like, what was the difference between me two minutes ago saying that I was gonna like stop and just rest and me after once I finished pushing through? I just feel like you'll always be like bigger, stronger, greater. How do I articulate this? Well, I don't know if I'm making sense, but I hope you catch my drift. You are so much greater than the limit that you put on yourself. You are limitless. And it just feels so much better to push through for those few minutes of pain rather than just selling yourself short and giving up. I mean, if you really need to, if you feel like you're gonna throw up or something, obviously stop <laughs> and gather yourself. But don't sell yourself short either because you'll always just make it out to the other side and you'll be better. That was my motivational speech and I hope that it made sense. I always have so many things to talk about in my vlog and like inspo and like you know motivation to give but i just never know how to articulate myself and like say it the way that i'm thinking it's dinner time this is my first time i'm gonna try this salad and i'm really excited to try it and i'm gonna make a vinaigrette to try so let's see how it comes out love-hate relationship with cucumber I'm like I'll eat it but I'm not crazy about it but I'm gonna try putting it in the salad but I don't, I don't really know if it goes I tried matcha for the first time which I was super excited about because I've been wanting to try it for a minute now my first impression was that I wasn't too impressed like I don't know I think it was the much like the, the workers because I don't think they made it well it was just milk I compared it to like your milk after you eat cereal if you know what i mean i just want to have like a good matcha i could like it but i was honestly i honestly thought that i was just gonna taste grass but i tasted the opposite side of the spectrum i tasted milk i want to try it again hopefully i can vlog whenever i try it again look at this salad and my dressing okay let's see how it is Thursday. It's 10 30 and I finally was able to wake up early for once. Well, not even early, but early ish. Because on days that I don't have to wake up early, like for class, I've been sleeping in until like 12, 1, sometimes even 2. Today is Pilates Day. Okay, I'm gonna try to paint my nails before Pilates, but today's Pilates Day. I'm so excited. It's only 30 minutes. Like, it's just a. a 
first like trial class so it's only 30 minutes but still I'm excited to see what Pilates is about you already know I got my matching set on this set is so cute I'm so happy with this purchase I got it from Amazon I'm definitely gonna order more because I just love it I really like the the style like the high neck because I, I bought a blue one too and I like the red one more because this one's like I don't know I feel more I feel more comfortable on this one this red this red look at that <laughs> I have a lot of things to do and I've just been lurking on my to-do list I'm gonna start off with some breakfast let's get this day going <laughs> editing or uploading it but I made this journal for 2024 as my like vision board but journal version which I thought was more fitting for me because I am a journaling girly basically every month I just write like updates I write a recap and goals for every month but I haven't been on my game this month honestly so it's already the end of the month, but I haven't like updated it, so I'm gonna do that now. It's basically October already, but better late than never. Done. It's 12.30. I've already checked off. Let's see. Two things for my to-do list, yay! Now I'm gonna paint my nails because I just can't bear to see them like this for another second. It was very nice catching up with my journal. It's been a minute. I felt a little guilty for slacking, but it's okay because you can always pick back up where you left off. I just needed that little refresher. And this journal is just so special to me because I know that at the end of 2024, I'm gonna like read through everything see all the things that I wrote for myself. I like writing myself like inspirational slash motivational like letters. Obviously I don't remember exactly what I write in here so it's just gonna be a really nice thing to look back on when the year ends. It's crazy that we're already in September. Like what? 2024 just started. <laughs> painting my nails I had to cut all my nails because they were just breaking one after another they're just breaking I just said black and they're so freaking short I honestly really like painting my nails at home I don't know if they, if they look the best but it's super like therapeutic for me my nails are super like butchered right now I don't really know what's going on at least from far away they're painted and they look presentable hopper walk i also did an update after pilates i liked it it was just a little bit light but obviously it was a trial class so you can go up in levels and everything i asked if i could record and they said no good morning happy friday i just rolled out of bed and put on some workout clothes i wish i would be going to a workout class or something but no we're just gonna go get some breakfast i'm excited to see how the coffee is in this place i really i'm praying that it's good like i really need a good coffee but let's see here's my coffee it's definitely a coffee how's your green juice it's good
making salmon. I've been practicing. It's good, but my first one came out better. So this is my late lunch. I just got this new lip liner from Refi, but it's really intimidating me because it's so dark. It's literally the darkest shade and I get scared to use it. I just have to like rub it in right away. I don't know if I'm the only one that has had issues with these Refi lip liners. I want to like them so bad, like they last super well, but the shades just aren't it for me. I had another one and they, they never look like what they look on the outside, like on the little packaging. It's never what it looks like. This is my last time trying them because <laughs> I'm done after this. And I just kept it because, I don't know, they just last so long that I want to love them. I also stopped using these NYX fat oils because once I bought the e.l.f. ones, like, it was over for this. E.l.f. ones are just too good and these don't last. But I'm trying to, like, use more of my makeup. If I don't, then they're just gonna sit there forever. We're gonna go get some Froyo. That's the end of my video. Hope you enjoyed. That was basically a week in my life. Still trying to get into a routine. That was it for this week. I hope you enjoyed watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos from me. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!